as I was saying here, the MACD or the, the parsing white signal line are the, is the line in the red dash. And the RSI is the blue line here. So this is the 70 and the 30. <clears throat> and what I was trying to, I was trying to convey here was, so you see this value one right here is a switch that, that I've set in the expert advisor. And this value above is the price level that we're currently in. And what it means by a tick, it means that every time it changes. So that's tick, tick, and tick. So as you can see, every, every time it, the tick changes, the switch is changed. Changes, changes. And as you can see here, we're still in the same candlestick. In the same candlestick. So we're in the same candlestick and it's switching between the different different uh, combination signals that we've created that are being called every tick. So for this tick it calls one. For the next tick calls the other one. For the, the next other tick calls for the for another one. The next tick calls another one, and so on it goes on. And you can see we're in the same candlestick. And for some reason this method seems to work perfectly fine. On the other hand, if if I had set it so that the way I had it earlier. Down here, when I before I deleted it, it it would it wouldn't switch between it every tick like that in within the same candlestick. It would be probably be in that candlestick, and probably the next few candlesticks after that would probably be fixated on just this this one only, and then somewhere on the line it would switch to this one, and it would be fixated for for some time on this one only, and then and then it would I don't know would probably switch to this one, and the same thing would happen. And it just it just wouldn't work. So so it's I fixed that bug by by making this and it, and it seems to be working perfectly fine. <clears throat> and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for for based on the code that we've developed. Uh, thank you.